Are your parents constantly nagging you to get out of the house? Do you never have enough money to spend on yourself? Are you looking to meet new people? If you answered yes to any of these questions, a job is the answer for you. Now you may be saying to yourself, handsome TV man, getting a job isn't that easy, and I'm well aware of that. That's actually why I'm here to talk to you today, to show you how to ace a job interview. And please call me Ben. Step one is making a resume. A resume is important because your employer needs to work, know where you worked before. If you're interviewing for a job at Merrill Lynch, they have the right to assume that you worked in something. is a brief account of a person's education, qualifications, and previous experience, typically sent with the job application. In other words, you type things you've done, education you received, and qualifications you've earned. Once you complete that task, you should email it to your potential employer, along with printing it out and bringing it to your interview. This is my resume. Now, I know most of you haven't accomplished that much, but as long as you haven't completely screwed up your life, there's a place for you. Now that your resume is done, we can move on to step two, attire. Now, this is never a problem for me, because I look good in everything, but I know most of you aren't that lucky. So let's get started with step two. What you wear to an interview can truly influence whether or not you get your desired job. Now, what I'm wearing now, despite the fact that I look dashing, just isn't suitable. Here's what you should be wearing. Yeah, this is more like it. Calm it down, ladies. And besides, besides the good clothing, remember to have good hygiene. Brush your teeth. Step number three of our six-step formula is to prepare for all questions, along with having a good personality. How can you do this? Just go over yourself. Know your background history. And most importantly, expect any and all questions and be able to answer them clearly. How do you go over yourself? Just ask yourself questions. Where do you go to school? Do you do any extracurricular activities? Check your grades. When you meet your potential employer, be sure to give them a nice firm handshake and make eye contact. Remember, first impressions last forever. That was an example of exactly what not to do. Now, be sure to have no floppy fists, make eye contact, and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ben Ward. Nice to meet you, Ben. Hi, I'm Ben Ward. Nice to meet you, Ben. Step five. Compliment your interviewer. It does not matter if any of it isn't true. You just gotta suck up to this person as if your life depended on it. Now, you may think making a compliment is hard and awkward, which is sometimes true, but interviewers love it. Here's my interviewer. Everyone has something to compliment. Don't be shy. Don't worry, I'll show you how it's done. Sean, you look very nice today. I love the outfit. Wow, thanks, Ben. I usually don't get compliments during an interview. You look great, too. Now it's time for step six, the final step. This step is to shake your interviewer's hand one last time and thank them for their time. This is crucial because your interviewer wants to know that you have manners and show respect. Once the interview has come to an end, stand up and commence another good handshake while the interviewer whilst making good eye contact. This has been Ben Ward. Thank you for watching. Good luck on your interview, kid. We know you'll get the job. These are some satisfied viewers. Hello, this is Sean Newker. Who's this? I got the job? No way, thank you so much. Thanks for the help, Ben. I could have done it without you.